This first one is on page 30. Okay, go and see this out. Now, if you see, whenever you are solving for total electrical resistance, uh, here's two tips to help you solve all kinds of problems. Tip number one. If they want total electrical resistance between X and Y, you can assume that you're connecting a battery like this. Ding. Okay, la. Okay. Total electrical resistance means they connect. Okay. Then the second point is, okay, so I write here, battery. The second tip is simplify in steps. Not Shopify, not Spotify, but simplify in steps. What does that mean? Because you look at this diagram, oh, you think, Miss, is this parallel or resistor? I'll say both. Oh. It's parallel, but also, resist but also parallel or resistor. Parallel or series, both is parallel and series. So what you can do is combine the series first, then parallel, then series, then parallel. So you see, for example, these three are in series because you can redraw, ma, and you don't believe I draw for you. Nah, this one, then you have one, two, three. Drawing skills help, guys, in circuits. See? Series. Can recognize or not? So if you want to combine it, let's do the series part first. So first step, if you want to find total electric resistance, you have to combine all these somehow. First step, combine all the series one first. So you add together. And it becomes one effective resistor. So what is this one effective resistor? 10 plus 10 plus 10. 30 ohm. Okay, so you say 30 ohm. Then this one is still the same, oh, 10 ohm. Ne? You see? Simplify a bit already, right? Now it looks like a parallel. Okay, so can simplify some more. So, before you simplify parallel, remember to simplify the, combine the series ones first. Let's combine this. Now, to find total resistance, you need 1 over 10 plus 1 over 30. And if you want to flip this around in your calculator, already you can lah. Usually, I ask my calculator to do this work for me. You can write like this. But this one, depending on your calculator model, it might be very tricky to type in. Or you can do like this low. 1 over, eh, did I say 10? 1 over 10 plus 1 over 30, negative 1. Same thing. Anyhow you want to do it, you can do that. So if you calculate everything correctly, you should get 7.5 ohm, which is this answer. So, B. Now, there are ways where you can guesstimate this. Kind of say, less than 1 ohm. No, no, cannot be. 40 ohm? This one definitely out. Confirm out. Because 40 ohm means you add all four together. So, cannot be this, cannot be this. So, you can guesstimate lah. Okay. 